Coming from deep in the crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of. And by the passage leading in, a grim-faced man glares at you. Strange. Sarcophagi line the walls, but they're broken open and empty. Where did the bodies go? You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. You found some kind of secret door in the wall. Once you open it, you can read this is a dark and dusty passage. It doesn't look like anyone's come through here in decades. chest. It's out in the open and unprotected. And that's probably what the dead cultist by the chest thought. Acid sprays out of the wall as the gate slams shut. What were those cultists up to? This bears more investigation. A treasure chest glimmers in this passage. There may be something of use inside. This heavy mace is a bludgeoning weapon, ideal for smashing apart skeletons. Their bones are resistant to puncturing or slashing weapons. Thank you. 
In the middle of this chamber is an evil devourer altar. By it, a Sampuagan rumbles. For generations, the human Hatens have forestalled us. Now the dead Hatens shall serve the devourer's slaves. There'll be the army to crush the Korthos resistance, cries the Sahuagin. The Sahuagin's plan must have been to use these devourer altars to animate every body in this crypt. But by your hand, you can destroy the altar and prevent that from happening. A magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. A magical barrier blocks the way, and behind it, another Sahuagin performs unholy rituals at a devourer altar. This barrier appears linked to three sockets in the wall. If you find the crests to those sockets, it may allow you passage.
As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own health up. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Craig Wolf hated. In life you served the light. But in death you shall serve the devourer. <laughs> the Sahuagin gloats. These devourer altars will create a blight of undead upon Corthos. You know what needs to be done. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. Treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here. Though rusty, this longsword is still sharp. It's a slashing weapon, perfect for slicing through putrid zombie flesh that would resist puncturing or bludgeoning weapons. There's a Sahuagin in here, performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of Corthos, rise and do my... The altar glows with dark power, and the Sahuagin continues. Kill. Kill everyone in Corthos. Kill any who would help them. The Sahuagin were using this vile devourer altar to create undead. This must not be allowed to continue. When the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You fit the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venomous voice. These fools who would keep Corthos shall be consumed by the Devourer! Looking down at a corpse on the altar, the Sahuagin says, And you, dead hero of hate and blood, shall be the Devourer's teeth!